Welcome back, fuckers. All right, today we're going to run through how to use your targeting pod. We had a request in the comments, so this is my first one, first request that I've done. Uh, how to use the targeting pod with the uh, laser mavericks and the IR mavericks on moving targets. So we're going to run through that bad boy right now. All right, so let's uh, make our targeting pod soy by pressing sensor select right to get the diamond there, and we're going to zoom on in. So you can see we've got some moving units down there. We've got a few trucks. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and pick a truck. Get it roughly there. We're gonna press sensor select right twice to get the uh, point track mode, okay? So if your targeting pod is on the right hand MFD, you press sensor select right to switch between your modes. So the first press right will go to area track and then the next track will go to point track. Uh, if it was on the bottom DDI, okay, we'd press sensor select aft to make it go from uh, normal to area track to point track. Okay, so that is how you do that. Now, we need to do a couple of things. We're going to turn our laser on so that we've got our laser ready to fire. 11.1 uh, miles to target, so we've got our ranging information there. And what we're going to do now is confirm that our Mavericks are at the correct code, 1688, which they are. And we're going to go ahead and select Maverick laser go out of active pause off into idle so now we're going to make our maverick to uh our maverick page sweep we're going to go ahead and press our weapon release button once to turn the laser on remember all right, now our Maverick has found the laser. You can see that the diamond has actually uh, moved up there and we can go ahead and launch said laser Maverick rifle. So we press weapon release once to launch, uh, to turn the laser on and then you press weapon release twice to fire the Maverick, okay? And then as long as we don't lose sight, let's trim our aircraft out here. Autopilot on. So as long as we don't lose sight here, which we shouldn't do as we're flying overhead, F6 to go to Maverick view. See the Maverick is following our laser in. It's going to go ahead and take out that target that's moving. Bam! First target destroyed. So now all these guys are going to just drive off randomly and stop. Uh, they'll just pull up and they won't drive anymore. So we're going to reset the mission and we're going to do the same thing with the. Uh, the IR Maverick, show you the difference, a little bit different with the IR Mav. Okay, so wait one, we'll be back in a second doing the same thing with Mavericks. Alrighty guys, welcome back. We are loaded up with IR Mavericks this time and we're going to go through how to use the targeting pod to lock onto a moving target and uh, take them out with an IR Maverick. So we're going to put our TDC cursor over the rough area, press TDC, sorry, sensor select right, sensor select right, to get into point track mode and it's tracking. So now the difference. For your IR Mavericks, you need to designate the spot that the uh, targeting pod is looking on the ground. Because remember, our IR Maverick goes off a spot on the ground. It looks at a spot on the ground. It's not actually looking where the camera is looking. So we're going to press TDC to press, okay, which is the same button used to lock targets up the radar and the same button you press to get the targeting diamond when you're using JDAMs. I'm going to press that now. It's going to put a little cross on there. All right, now if we make our Maverick soy, so we're going to press sensor select left, our Maverick is going to slew to that area. Okay, sweeten the deal. We're going to press, if it's not kind of locked on, okay, you just go back to your uh, tiny prod, press TTC to press to update, and you can tell we've got, see, we've got a lock there, and we're going to go ahead and try and rifle off a few of these okay so let's go active pause off we've got a lock rifle so now we can move our little TDC that little cross and just keep pressing in the area we've got a lock there let's go to this guy lock him Lock him, lock him. Come on. Give us a lock. Got a lock. Three. And then one more. Move that little cross over there. 
four. Four Mavericks away. And let's watch our handiwork. One. Alpha two. Alpha two. two. Three. And this little guy, there we go, four. So even though those targets were maneuvering, because our Maverick got an infrared lock, okay, picked up on the heat signature of those uh, those trucks down there, they're fire and forget. So you just have to go TDC depress once you've got a point track to designate a spot for the Maverick to look at and just keep pressing TDC depress just to sweeten up the lock. And as soon as you get the uh, lock on your Maverick, fire it and then you can move your TDC cursor around and just keep pressing it. Okay, so you control your uh, your Maverick or the lock off of the, your targeting pot, just keep pressing TDC to press, wait for your Maverick screen to actually go to the, uh, the full lock and says in range and fire your Mavericks as you would. Four rifles, four Mavericks, four kills, one pass. Hopefully that made sense. That's a little bit of a, uh, a handful there. But that's how you do it, boys. Four passes, or one pass, sorry, four moving targets taken out in one foul swoop with Mavericks. Cool. Hopefully you learned something. If you did, make sure you give the video a like. And if you haven't already, also appreciate it if you hit the big old subscribe button on the YouTube channel as well. We're almost at 200. Hopefully by the time this goes out, we'll be over 200. That'd be cool. It's pretty crazy. And yeah, lastly, come on by and check me out on Twitch. I stream Monday to Friday at uh, 1300 Australian Western Standard Time. And we just do DCS stuff, right? Blow stuff up, do dogfighting, air to air stuff, do missions. It's all good. We just muck around and uh, got any questions that you want to ask live, come on in and uh, say good day. Right, guys, catches on the next one. See you.